guys so today I'm going to show you how to get this matte kinda deserty warm uh, makeup look and the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my eyelid using the put a lid on it primer by the Balm Cosmetics then I'm going to take this Morocco shade from the Anastasia Shadow Couture palette and use this on my crease and just make sure that everything is blended and now I'm going to take this very like, matte dusty yellow shade from the Morphe 35 um, O palette and pack this on my mobile lid now I'm going to take fudge and just pack this on the outer corner of my eyelid only and just bend that into the crease a bit as well um, you want to keep the colors a bit separated as well um, now I'm going to take this orange shade as well from the 35O palette and just blend this above Morocco just to add a bit more color in that area and I went back as well with that dusty yellow shade and packed a bit more on my mobile lid and now I'm going to move on to the liquid eyeliner I'm just doing a basic wing I already have a eyeliner tutorial on my channel so I'll link that in the info box for you guys and now I'm just moving on to mascara and I'm just packing a bunch of mascara as I do usually and I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I'm now going to moisturize my skin I'm using the Garnier Moisture Match Cream for dry to very dry skin and I always color correct my skin before putting foundation I'm using the LA Girl Orange Corrector just using that around my mouth area and under my eyes then for foundation I'm going to use the double wear foundation in Toasty Toffee actually I, mix, I mixed a bit of henna as well and just blending that with my beauty blender which is damp and when you color correct it just creates a flawless finish I feel like so that's why I always always color correct now for concealer I'm going to use this LA Girl concealer in Toffee and I'm going to use that first and then I'm going to use this NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in Golden and mix that with the LA Girl one and blend everything with my Beauty Blender. Then to set that concealer in I'm going to do a bit of baking and I just use my beauty blender to pack that Ben Nye, ben Nye banana powder on the concealer and just this just creates a flawless finish under your eyes and it also prevents creasing. I'm then bronzing my face with my NYX matte bronzer in the shade deep just to add a bit of colour to my face and then I brushed off the excess Ben Nye banana powder from my under eyes just with a simple brush and now I'm just adding a bit more of a warmer bronzer and I'm using the 17 instant glow bronzer in medium and I just love bronzer at the moment and then for blush I'm using this makeup revolution ba vivid baked blush in hard day and I'm just applied a bit of that on my cheeks and then for highlighter I'm using my Becca champagne pop highlighter and just dusting that on the highest points of my face um, I went back to my eyes and applied a bit of Morocco on my lower lash line and I went really really up close but kind of blending it out a bit and then when I was done with that I took my number 7 metallic eyes um, coal pencil in the shade camouflage and I just lined my lower waterline with that it just added a nice gold um, shade to the waterline and then I took Noir from the Anastasia Shadow Couture palette and went really really up close to my lower lashes and kind of lined my lower lash line as well and then as always I put a bunch of mascara on my lower lashes using the same mascara and then for lips I'm using this Map Me by Sleek in the shade Birthday Suit and I just filled my lips with that and I went also in with a lip liner by Max Factor it's in the shade Brown and Nude and I just went around the edges just to clean that up and make sure that the edges were not dodgy and just all nice and clean <laughs> And then the final step of this makeup look, I just used my Smashbox Primer Water to set my makeup in and that's all I did for this makeup look. So if you like this tutorial, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!